Welcome back fellow readers, this is Swab, and today we're going to be showcasing Full Metal Panic Collector's Edition Volumes 1 and 2. We're going to be taking a look at what these books look like and why these books are important and why you should buy them. So without further ado, let's begin. Okay, so here we have Full Metal Panic Collector's Editions Volumes 1 and 2. And in order to understand what makes these books so special and why they're so important right now, we have to understand the publication history of Full Metal Panic as a whole. So back in 2009, there was a small little company known as Tokyo Pop, and Tokyo Pop was the company that originally had the license to translate and publish Full Metal Panic in English. And you know, they gave us a few volumes, I think they went all the way up to volume 4 in 2011, and volume 4 actually combined volumes 4 and 5 in Japan, and they put that together and made a volume 4 in English. It's kind of confusing, but long story short, Pop, Tokyo Pop didn't do so well, and you know we didn't get the full story printed in English. Uh, fast forward now to 2019, uh, we have a publishing company known as J Novel Club, and J Novel Club now has the rights to publish these books in English, and they've been releasing a lot of them digitally. I think we're up to like volume 10 or maybe something around there digitally. I forget where we are right now, but now they are printing them in these physical format books and we have these special hardcover collector's edition and this is really the only way to get full metal panic collector's edition in print i mean you could probably find the old ones out in the wild but in order to get a complete collection it's going to look nice on your shelf you're going to want to get these books they're coming out with a new book each year so the first one will collect volumes one two and three and the second one will be collecting volumes four five and six so what that means is that this is the first time that we're getting volume six printed in english and you know with each year we're going to get a whole new book and eventually we'll get all 12 volumes so that's going to be four books in total we'll get them all printed in english for the very first time and get the whole collection out there and so that's what makes these books so amazing so first we're going to take a look at volume one okay so here we have volume one and i love the arm slave that we have on the cover we get the full title up here where and everything's sort of printed in this sort of gunmetal gray color it kind of shines a bit against the light we're going to take a look at the spine real quick so you can see what this book is going to look like when it's on your shelf here we have the j novel club logo down here and we're going to take a look at the back so the back has the synopsis for the first three volumes and we got the j novel club logo again here we have my worn out a little barcode here i should probably take that sticker out it's gonna be a nuisance okay so here we have volume one we're gonna take a deep dive into this one so it is okay so here we have volume one we're gonna take a deep dive into this book right here so we have the cover art and i love how we get both cover arts so we have the modern one that's being used in all the volumes and we also get the first edition cover art and you know we get this um like with any inserts they're in, on, printed on this glossy paper very thick so the images come out really nicely we have uh the cover art for volume two and the first edition cover art for volume two and you know i love the drawings that we have here so we have uh, volume three as well and of course the first edition for volume three and this particular paper I think it's maybe slightly thinner than what we would get with normal light novels but it does come out really nicely I think it's a little more white compared to the beige colors that we would get some light novels so here we have you know the print quality of the illustrations they come out really nicely i think you can see a little bit of the bleed through so you know you can see the text from the other side so that's, you can tell that the pages are a little bit thinner than normal but i just love how the illustrations really came out let me see if i can find another one over here yeah we have this guy's over here so we have like a little black background so you don't really see the bleeding as much maybe you can see the bleeding a little bit through the body and the face but overall i think these books came out really nicely i mean they're not too thick and uh, they they feel really nice in your hand and, you know it collects three volumes so i think they might have uh, did some tricks with the spacing to make the books not so thick and you know obviously the pages are a little bit thinner but not too crazy thin and you know you don't feel like you're gonna it's not gonna rip apart if you try to turn it too fast but you know i think overall j novel club did a really nice job with these books let me show off one more illustration here it is and then we'll move on to book two all right same deal for volume two we have a different arm slave on the cover we have the same format for the title we're going to take a look at the spine 
It matches up with the first one and the back we're gonna see the synopsis for the next three volumes all right let's take a look at the inserts again real quickly so we're gonna take a look inside so here is volume four and we also get the first edition of volume four and we're gonna take a look at these insert arts I love these inserts so here's volume five that you'll get normally and now uh, here is the first edition for volume five the cover and we're gonna take a look at volume six along with its first edition cover and I love these inserts man I can't wait to read through this second book and you know the same good same thing goes with this book um, illustrations come out very nicely you get a little bit of bleeding effect not that much really uh, same pages as before so you know nothing too special compared to the first book but what I really want to talk about is the covers of these books and you know there's a little bit of a gripe that I have so let's take a quick look okay so what's the one little gripe that I have about this book and maybe there's like one or two but they're very nitpicks but you know they, they just caught my attention so I will just want to bring it up real quick let me see if I can zoom in and focus on that real quick so you can see that this book has sort of like a raised texture like a little bumpy feel to it um, I wish that it was more of a flat instead of a texture maybe it's just a flat surface book mainly because when you see these little um, uh, words here where it says illustrated the, the word illustrated kind of blends in together it's kind of like a blotchy mess I don't know if that's just the font they chose or the raised texture or maybe a mix of both but you know when it starts to get when the lettering starts to get close like that it just starts to look a little messy okay so let me flip over to the next side so you can see the synopsis maybe it's a little clear over there too but you know at some point these words just start to get a little funky in this raised texture so you can see <laughs> it's kind of hard to read some of these words but you know you can make them out at some point but it's just a little gripe that i have with this sort of raised texture going on and, and also with this font maybe so you know i don't know if it's just a mixture of both or if it's just this raised texture that's doing this um, personally I'm just not a fan of it and the same issue kind of arises with the title of the book when you get this raised texture and the titles being printed on top of it so you know from afar it looks okay but let's take a look when you have it in person it's a little bit closer let me zoom in a little bit so you can see the title has like these um, like little black dots maybe it's supposed to like represent the gunmetal um, <laughs> you know the color and whatnot but I just wish that it was like a flat black and maybe the lettering was like a deep silver foil or a deep gunmetal foil that way the title stands out just a bit more i think they could have done a little bit better of a job when it comes to the cover but you know it is what it is it still comes out pretty nicely i mean that's just a small little nitpick other than that these books are amazing all right let's head on back all right so that was full metal panic collector's edition let me know down in the comment section what you think about these two titles and let me know what you think about full metal panic as a whole and if you like this video make sure you hit that like and subscribe we're going to be doing more product showcases in the near future with that being said i will see you all next time bye everyone